Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a graph where we've got this sort of fill-in effect um, using a male and female as an example. So this has been created from a simple bar chart believe it or not. So how I did it, I will build it on this other worksheet from scratch. So I've got my club membership here and you'll see we've got 45 male members and 50 female members. So to begin with, what I need to do, if you see here on the previous page, I've got these outlined versions and I've set those to be 100%. So I'm going to do 100% for both of those. What I now need to do is work out what percentage of the total membership is male. So I'm going to do a very simple calculation. I'm just going to do the male figure divided by the sum of the male and female added together. And then likewise, I'll do the same for the female. So it's going to be the female figure divided by the sum of the male and female. And I've set, pre doing this, I've set those cells to show us percentages. Okay, so now that I've got that information, if I now select it and I create myself a column chart, and it's just a standard 2D clustered column. I'm going to select the nice high contrast style here of style 8 from the styles before I do this. Just a little note, if you do want to do this yourself, make sure that you pick the style first. Because if you go and do all the effort of changing everything, when you then pick the style, it will revert it back to the basic column chart that we see in front of us. Okay, so the next bit, I need the shapes. I need the male and female shapes. So what I did was I went to the insert ribbon and under illustrations, I went into icons. And then search for male. And I took a copy of that one. I'll put that over there for now. And I repeated that process. And then did insert icons. And then did female. Now that I've got both of them, I'm going to select both of them. And by holding control and dragging down, I can make a second copy. So the original ones, I'm going to select both of them. I want them to have no fill, but then I want them to have an outline. So I think black will do. And then for the other two, I'm just going to pick a colour for male and for female. So I'm going to go for. This time I'll go for blue for male, and I'm going to go for green for female. Okay, so I've got my, my icons that I need. Now what I need to do is I need to replace the bigger ones with the outlines, and then replace the smaller ones with the coloured in versions. So to do that, I'm going to start with the male. I'm going to click on the outlined one and copy it. So just did Control and C. I'm going to click into the graph and notice it selects both the filled in ones when I've clicked on one of them. So I'll do a second click. And if I now right click and go to Format Data Point, I'm going to go to the Fill Options. I'm going to go into Fill, down to Picture or Texture Fill, and then pick from my clipboard. I'll repeat that process now for the female one. So I'm going to go and copy the female one. Click again, got to click twice into the fill, picture and texture, and from clipboard. Okay, so now that I've got those two, I'll repeat the process now to do the, the partial coloured in. So I'm going to click on the male one, copy it. Click, click again, and again, 
into my pictures and texture fill and take it from my clipboard. But this time, instead of it being stretched, I want to do it as stacked and scaled. So as you can see now, it doesn't show me the full person. It only shows me the amount that equates to, in this case, 47%. So if I now go and do the same on the female one, I'm going to click on the female one, I'm going to copy it, click and click again, and then picture and texture fill, paste. And again, I want the stack and scale width. Now that I've done that, I need to select a data series. And what I want to do here is I want to overlap them. So instead of there being a 24% in the minuses, I want to put them together. Now you'll notice that it's actually put the coloured ones behind the outlined ones. So if I go to my chart design and I go to select data, I can simply go and select the outline and I can move that up. But now when I press OK. I get my colours. Okay, so if I click back on it, the next thing I want to do is I want to get rid of the, the width gap. So I'm going to make it so that it is zero. What we can also do is we can get rid of things like the axes, we can get rid of the chart title, we can get rid of the grid lines, and get rid of the legend. So now it's looking more like the one that I had on the other page. Now what's missing is I don't have the percentages that each of these represent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and insert a text box just on the screen here and in there rather than typing in the percentage because I want this to be dynamic and change I'm simply going to go to the formula bar do equals and I'm going to click on the percentage for male. So when I press enter now, that becomes 47%. And just so that they're both the same size, I'm going to press control and drag away from that to make a second one. And then I'm going to change the cell reference, in this case to I4. So now that I've got those, if I take each one and I place them where I want them to be on the graph, we now have a dynamic male-female split where if I go and update the original data, so let's say we now get another 10 men, so we get 55 members that are male, we can now see that 52% of our membership is male and only 48 is female. Okay, guys, I hope you found that useful. If you did, can you give me a thumbs up? and if you want to see more videos from me, please remember to press the subscribe button and press that notification bell so that when I do new videos, you'll get a reminder. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.